The purpose of life is to be happy, to be responsible, to be compassionate, to love and to leave a legacy. That's why I think my parents brought me in this world and they call me a Shanafi. I am a mechanical engineer by profession, born and raised in an extended family, but I learned from them. It is not what you do to your children, but what you taught them to do for themselves. Uh, contestant number four. What kind of car do you want? Do you want to be a billionaire? What kind of business do you want to have your own? You need more success? What do you really want? Master of ceremony, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. A true story. March 10, 1981, a plane was crashed. In that airplane, there was a man called Boris Goodman. He was the only survivor, but he ended up in the hospital completely paralyzed. His paracord was broken, his wallowing flex was destroyed, so he couldn't eat or drink. His diaphragm was completely shut or damaged, so he could not breathe. All he could do was just blink, blink, blink his eyes. And the doctor said that he would remain paralyzed for the rest of his life. At that moment, Morris was mad. The only thing that could work at that hospital was his mother. So he started believing that he can bring all things back together again. So he created a mental image about himself getting well. And he set a goal that by Christmas, which means 10 months after the accident, he would walk out from the hospital by himself. And he held that image for days, weeks, and months. So time. He had to breathe by himself, move his arm and legs. And by Christmas, he walked out from that hospital by himself. Now, Morris Goodman is an author, a famous author and international speaker. He turned the greatest challenge of life into a greatest gift. And he summed up his situation with six words. Man became what he made of himself. Ladies and gentlemen, the moral of the story is that there is a life-changing force. The concept is a simple mental activity called imaging. Just create a mental vivid or clear image about your business goals and objective achieved. And hold that image in your conscious mind until it sinks into your subconscious mind. Regarding imaging, we expose to its power the moment we are born, whether consciously or unconsciously. So if we image positive, abandoned things, or if we image negative, scarcity, what we imagine definitely will going to happen. But tonight, I'm going to concentrate on today. I'm going to concentrate on the power of positive imaging. Let us take good examples. The seven wonders of the world. The greatest achievement of the past, or the technological achievement today. You can take Axum, Dalibala, even this conference hall. Before it came to existence, it was just an imagination in people's mind. So, what we imagine in our mind, definitely, we're going to hold it in our head. There are three steps for successful, positive, and magic. The first one is put it down and write it. First, we have to identify what we really want. For example, if you don't have a car, what kind of car do you want? Do you want that car which is assembled in Ethiopia like a bike, a mighty because they Chevrolet? Or do you need a Japanese car like Nissan or Toyota? When you write your desired goals and objectives, you must be specific. And until you write a goal, it will be only a wish, so put it down in writing. The second one is believe. Believe. If setting a worthy goal, and a first step on the road to success, the second one is believe. How? Just create a mental clear image. When you write your dream card, and hold that image like most good man. And the third and most important thing is that 
Avoid failure image. Avoid the word what if. Fundamentalists are word what if. What if, what if, Menalbat. Menalbat if I don't have a bite. Menalbat if I don't have a mic. Menalbat if I don't have the case. Avoid that. And I'm going to do it half. Do you know that? All the world leaders, technology, innovators, people who acquired a massive world like Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, and an Ethiopian billionaire called Sheikh Mohammed Al Amudi, they know the power of the image. In addition to that, only research, research showed that only 1% of the population of the world, only 1% of the population of the world earns more than 96% of the money, more than 96% of the money. Do you think that is by just a coincidence? I don't think so. Because these people know how the universe works and how to use their mind. Fellow those masters and most working class, remember, our mind is the most, the most, the most powerful tool ever created by God in the history of mankind. If you take a look to all the creations, from sunset to sunrise, from the tip of the Himalayas to the bottom of the ocean, there is nothing as beauty, as significant, as a power, as a human mind. And the human mind is what we have. So, if we use positive and magic systematically, it could change life, improve personalities, and enhance success in every field of endeavor, in every field of study that we engage in. So please, use this life-changing force. Create a positive image about yourself and others. Amazingly, it seems you will get things positive. Thank you very much. You just heard...